Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Shaheem. I'm a singer songwriter who loves to watch movies and TV shows. In today's video, uh, we're coming to the final two episodes of Wednesday season one. It's been a ride and I'm so glad I checked out this series. I hope you have been enjoying my reactions to the series as well. And where are we? Where are we right now? We're at um okay, so Wednesday found out she has a stalker. Um we got Enid and her had a fight because she wanted to go out and almost get them killed, essentially. Um yeah, we're still trying to figure out this this goody, how to contact Goody and get these answers. So uh I'm not going to talk too much because I want to get into this and I want you guys to also, you know, get into this with me. So let's uh, get into last two episodes. funerals i've been crashing them since i was old enough to oh my gosh of course you enjoy funerals mayor walker was murdered and i know the killer is oh yeah can't forget about mayor walker and that was lucas's dad too <sighs> I know who is I'm doing this the truth. i have all the pieces of the jigsaw i just need to slot them into place bro at this point don't don't look at Xavier. Don't look at Xavier because he's definitely not the killer. Yo, good plan. Oh, we. Haha. <laughs> we getting into it. This is Uncle Fester. Okay. Okay, okay. You didn't go to Nevermore. I didn't. Your dad got all the brains. But I used to drop in on him. Usually from the ceiling with the dagger clutched between my teeth just to keep him on his toes. Of course. He filled me in on what's been going on. Monsters, murder, mayhem. What fun. I told him I had a job Fun. in Boston, but I'd be checking up on you. What kind of job? The kind that means I need somewhere to lay low for a couple days. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you going in there? That was Eugene's place. This place belongs to a friend. You've actually made a friend. <laughs> like, that poor kid will be going home in a body wow. bag. No, don't say that. I like a hideout that comes with snacks. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. What are you doing? That means do not eat them. You crazy Uncle Fester. <laughs> you know, when you give me that death stare of disapproval, you remind me of your mother. Speaking of scary things, do you know what kind of a monster you're dealing with? Haven't been able to identify it. Ooh. Yeah. It's called a hide. Oh. Is it Jekyll and Hyde? Mm hmm. You've seen one before. Oh yeah. In '83, during my vacay at the Zurich Institute for the Criminally Insane, that's where I got my first lobotomy. But you know, lobotomies are kind of like tattoos. You can't just get one. Tell me about the hide. Ah. <sighs> Olga Malakova. Jeez. Well, she had it all. Beauty, brains, and a penchant for necrophilia. <laughs> Olga was a concert pianist. Until one night, she transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata. Massacred a dozen audience members. 
Inc. And three music critics. What triggered her? Or did she just change on her own? No idea. I only saw her in group electroshock therapy. There's never been any mention of hides in any outcast book. And Nevermore is reputed for having the best collection. You tried Nathaniel Faulkner's diary? Hmm. Before he founded Nevermore, Faulkner traveled the world, cataloging every outcast community. How do you know this? You think your parents can't keep their hands off each other now? Why, they? I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. Uncle Feste. The dead can be just as annoying and unreliable as the living. Hey. Hi. Sorry, I figured you were still at Mayor Walker's wake. As soon as the dirt hits the coffin, I'm out. I can't seem to find my bottle of Silver Moon nail polish. Do you mind if I look around? Yoko's hosting a Manny Petty party for her crew. This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. Enid. So, how is everything going? So I was nah, she want the company. I, I feel it. With my novel. Was I an annoying distraction? You definitely had some annoying habits. Such as? You giggle when you text, which is a 24-7 addiction. Well, at least it's not a migraine-inducing typewriter hammering into my head. When you're not grinding your canines, you growl in your sleep. As opposed to late-night cello solos. You overcommit to clubs and activities and then complain about them nonstop. <laughs> I just got over your obsession with all things creepy and dead. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spritz. That's just off the top of my head. Guess I'm the lucky one with a new bestie that doesn't try to find ways to endanger literally everybody she comes into contact with. In fact, Yoko and I are so in sync that she's begging me to be her new roomie permanently. Stop. Don't let me hold you back. Right. Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solid. Bro, I don't know whose side I'm on. These are some sweet digs. How'd you swing your own single? Former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. Mm. What the heck? Here it is. Dang, there's a whole book of monsters. Faulkner describes see all as those. artists by nature, but equally vindictive in temperament. Born of mutation, the hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. This act causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees as its master. Comes the willing instrument of whatever nefarious agenda this new master might propose. It has a master. Anyone you willing say. to unlock a hide is a next level sicko. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two the monster and its master. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh. Uncle Fester is quick. Oh, don't worry. Just a tiny spark. Barely perceptible to the average eye, but I noticed. Part of the dorm experience is making friends with people that you wouldn't normally connect with. And those friendships often turn into lifelong bonds. I would rather buy a rope. Is it really so di And do what with the rope? Uncle Fester? Hold on, bro. Quit hiding. Uncle Fester? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Being a solo Lobo has its perks. You get to live by your own rules, do whatever you want. Just look at me! <laughs> <laughs> oh man where was he bro where was he from the beginning ah uh... like right now yeah i know where that is okay i can meet you there in like 20 minutes okay bye who are you talking to it's none of your goddamn business i know what you are xavier can you stay the hell away from me yo She gave an evil smile. Did you place a tracker? Don't worry. 
Uncle Fester's got you covered. Okay. That's at the road. <laughs> what? I picked it up on my way out of town. She said I'm not being caught dead in that. That's a dog carrier. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Come on, let's roll. Uncle Fat. <laughs> she looks so goofy. Oh man, Uncle Festa. <laughs> Uncle Festa was very much needed. It's just Kimba, come on. Keep following, I guess. Principal Weems, it is imperative I speak with you about Dr. Kinbot. Wednesday, we were just talking about you. Speak of the devil. And she shall appear. Dr. Kimbot was just discussing your assessment. I need to sign off on it before she hands it into the court. Well, what's the verdict, Doctor? Am I cured? I'm glad you find it amusing because the judge assigned to your case won't. I've explained to Dr. Kimber that you've recently been taking small but meaningful steps towards embracing your new Nevermore family. Yes. You know, I think I've actually reached the half-hug stage. I've been reading about hypnotherapy. I think it might be a good technique to unlock my inner Wednesday. Are you a devotee? Yes, very much so. I applaud your new willingness to delve deep into yourself. I'm seeing you on Monday. Mm -hmm. We can start then. They all got some evil agendas going on. The last time somebody threw a surprise for me here, it did not go as planned. I guarantee this one won't make you pass out cold. But you do have to close your eyes. Are you serious? Unfortunately. I'm only doing this because I owe you. <laughs> okay, watch your step. Wait here. Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Right here. Oh, she is so cute, bro. Oh, man. What? Ain't no way. Oh my god, bro, what? He said it was a scary movie. <laughs> I'm weak. Big day. That is definitely a suspect's bike. Looks as weird as he does. Bro, how are you gonna leave it? Alright, he couldn't get too far. That's so noticeable. So you guys spread out. I'm gonna check down by the lake. Oh. What the hell? Tyler. Dead? What are you doing here? This school groundskeeper found a motorbike by the lake. It matches the description of the one the bank robber stole. There's a canoe missing. Oh. It might be holed up on Raven he Island. He stole it. Great. I'm not going to even ask what this is. But I never saw the two of you here. Never. You got it? Unbelievable. Come on. Come on, man. Over time, I actually started liking Sheriff Galpin. I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh. Thing? Uh oh. Thing. Stop! Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this again. I can't do this again. Oh, she's gonna cry. Yeah. 
No. Wake up, wake up. Why are they doing this? He's gone this? Wednesday. No, he's not. Think. If you can hear me. If you die, I will kill you. Go again. No, again, please. Aw. Move. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Who did this to you? Knife from behind the back. Cowards. Promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. And it will be slow, long, and excruciatingly painful. We got it. Kill who did it. I can't do this again, man. Oh, a hand, bro. A hand. Um, it had me emotional. Like it wasn't like, oh, I was crying like her, bro. Bro, I was I was I was almost I was almost there. I was almost there, okay? Huh. Come with me. I have information about Mayor Walker's murder. Bianca. She kinda already had her uh, actually no, she didn't have it yet. Never mind. She gonna have her redemption arc? These two? It's an anagram for Laurel Gates. Laurel secretly buys her old house and then comes back to Jericho as someone else. Why? Revenge on all the people she blames for her family's misfortunes. Your father, the coroner, my parents. Most of all, Nevermore. How exactly does the monster fit into all of this? The monster is called a hide. It's been doing Laurel's bidding. She controls it. You know who Laurel is, don't you? Stop playing. Wednesday? Why did it cut to win? What? Why did it cut to Kimbot? You are so out of line. Do you know how violently unpredictable a hide can be? What was your plan to have Xavier committed before you could turn on you too? Wednesday, you need help. More help than I can give you. Who are you calling, Xavier? Judge Reynolds. I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. What? Oh, please. You and I both know I'd be running that place in a week. Facts. Time's up, Laurel. <gasps> uh oh. Now, like I was saying, like, pay attention to her re reaction. I didn't, and her behavior was completely irrational. Oh, she finna get out of here. Oh, wait. Oh, we, bro. It's getting crazy. No, it's getting crazy because she just went and aired out or aired out Dr. Kimbot. Are you serious Feels right like now? Really loved it. What do you want? I'm How? How did you just get that? It just happened. You didn't have a dream. Kimbot's necklace. No, no, no. Somebody planted that stuff. Freeze! Drop the knife. Get down on your knees. Cuff. You're the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Appreciate the help, Adams. You, you framed me. I'm being set up. I should have let Rowan kill you. Why'd you just say you should have let Rowan kill? Oh, with the thingy. Uh, I got you. I got you. Never mind. Oh, uh, you know, don't leave. You're back. 
I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. Oh no, she's back. Someone's gotta look out for you too. Yay. What happened to rooming with Yoko? Yoko's great. I just decided I needed a few more boundaries. Skip the tape. Don't tell me Wednesday Adams is mellowing out. Never. More like evolving. Well, one inch of duct tape at a time. Why the sudden change of heart? Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. Everything you said about me is true, but I don't apologize for it. Not anymore. It's just who I am. Thanks, Odie, missed you. I missed him too. I'm sorry about Xavier. I'm not. He's a liar and a killer. Besides, there's nothing quite like the feeling of being proven right. I feel like he's not, though. Thing may I've seen it so many times. Classic setup, man. That guy always seems so normal. You know, for an outcast. Well, you know. Right? It has made me reevaluate things. Like what? Like who I can trust. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? I mean, she's willing to try. What? What's wrong? What do you say? Oh! The first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic, serial killing monster. I guess I have a type. First off, oh my god. Second off, what did I say? I gotta be a serial killer to be with Wednesday. Yeah. Like, bro. I guess that's how I have a chance. But also, bro, like, I literally said it's not Xavier. So let's just rule that out. Ah, oh my gosh. Wow. Right off the bat, I need to see closure for Eugene. I need to give a big apology to Xavier because what the heck? Like, Tyler, bro, come on. All right. So obviously this is Tyler. And give me your note. I was surprised you wanted to see me again after you ran out the other night. So, uh, is this a date? It's a surprise. When I came to Nevermore, romance mm -hmm. was the last thing on my mind. But when you kissed me, 
and you opened my eyes, and suddenly it all made sense. <sighs> Xavier warned me about you, but I didn't listen. Ironic now, huh? Ironic would have been framing Xavier for murder while the real hide helped me put him away. Wait. You don't think... I don't think. I know. Kinbot probably discovered your secret during one of your uh -oh. sessions, so she unlocked you. Why'd you kill her? I thought hides were typically loyal to their masters. Lindsay, seriously, this is nuts. On outreach day, I told you I was visiting the old meeting house. <gasps> Did Kinbot send you to spy on me? The night of the Raven, you overheard Eugene and me discussing your cave in the woods, and you warned Kinbot. Eugene probably saw her torching it. Then she sent you to clean up her mess. I have to hand it to you, Tyler. Wounding yourself that night at the Gates Mansion? That was a masterstroke of misdirection. Okay, stop. Do you know how insane you sound right now? I'm not a monster. And if you really thought that I was, why would you risk bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone? You said I was alone. Okay, nice shade. Okay, I don't know what kind of sick joke you're playing, Wednesday. But I'm out of here. Actually... You're coming with us. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen her use her siren, okay? This is crazy. I'm a normie. That's only half true. Do you recognize her? Perhaps if I hadn't been so distracted by my own mother hogging this photo, I would have noticed you. Oh, sooner. my goodness. Your father fell in love and married an outcast. Fine, my mom was an outcast. It doesn't make me a monster. According to our personal medical records. Wait, you stole her medical records? Technically, Thing did. He took them from your garage. Your father's quite the pack rat. Her postpartum depression triggered her condition. My mom had severe bipolar disorder. We both know that's a lie. She was a hide. And your father has it's been living his life all in dread. Passed down? I'm not really quite sure whether or not she had passed her condition on to you. Are you really all just gonna stand there and let her do this to me? Uh, guys. Enid just texted, Thornhill suspicious. How long until he morphs into that thing? I'm not the monster. Weems won't help. And Tyler here is always one step ahead of his father. Then you're on your own. Wait, no, no don't, don't, don't leave me here with her, please. I'm begging you, please. Come on. Come on. Oh, does it not have to come out? I want it to, like. Sheriff Galpin isn't pressing kidnapping charges, but which is a miracle did you not talk? in the circumstances. Of course he's not. How long have you known? Excuse me? When I gave you that call from the cave, did you already know the truth? Wednesday, that's enough. Xavier Thorpe is our hide. We've got evidence thanks to you, and that's why I'm giving you one last pass. Tyler is going to turn on you, too. Let's go. Get out. Wait, Wednesday, wait. Tyler! No, no, what are you doing? I need to talk to her, Dad. She was my friend. We're in a police station. What's going to happen? Make it quick. What does this uh, feel This like? is crazy. What does what feel like? To lose? Oh. You know, first, I'd wake <gasps> up naked, covered in blood. No idea what happened. But over time, I started to remember everything. The sound of their screams. Mm. Panic in her Yo, eyes. Yo, bro, what? And fear so primal I could taste it. And it was oh, he on his villain arc, bro. You have no idea what's coming. The fact that I like Tyler is crazy.
It's always two sides to every story. Xavier, I'm not sure how much time we have. Thing distracted the guards and is looping the cameras. What are you doing here? I know you're not the hide. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the uh, actual hide. Man, what was I saying, bro? How do you I was all on this guy's case from the beginning, bro. When you saw the scar, I was like, oh, it's him. But when he got set up and he was like, oh, I'm, I think I'm getting, I'm getting framed. I was like, okay, I believe him. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss your creepy, lifeless eyes waking me up every morning. Why does she have that? Same without you. So I assume you'll be moving in with Yoko, leaving me in the past. Not ever. What about you? Will you forget about me? Enid, the mark you have left on me is indelible. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow or hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed, I'll think of you. Thanks. I guess. No, that was definitely a compliment. I always believe relying on other people to be a sign of weakness. That inevitably they would lead me to disappointment. Turns out I've been the disappointment. Are you kidding me? I've learned so much from you. Part of it is admittedly criminal behavior, but <laughs> most people spend their entire lives pretending to give zero Fs, and you literally never had an F to give. Any chance you've got some sort of sneaky plan to elude Weems? Safer's right. This prophecy cannot come true if I'm not here. But it kills me to leave when Tyler is still walking around free. If he tries anything, we have a school full of gorgons, vampires, and werewolves. Ready and waiting. We've got this Wednesday, I promise. On a good note, I got a text from Eugene's mom. He woke up last night. Maybe Weems will let you yeah, drop by on your way yeah, to the station. Yeah. I think we're all set. Thing? I'm going to miss our makeup tutorials. And you better keep sending me moisturizing mm -hmm. tips. This dirty hand that walks all on the carpet, all on the ground, just giving you moisturizer tips? That's crazy. You're right. Not hugging is kind of our thing. I thought she was gonna do it. Eugene, Eugene. <laughs> Eugene is awake. Yes. Wednesday. Eugene. Oh. Glad to see you're finally awake. I heard you visited me all the time. Don't ever mention it again. Listen, I've been meaning Bro, to. Bro, I want to hug him. I shouldn't have gone to the dance. I should have been with you. When the dance floor calls, you gotta answer. It's not your fault. It's the monsters. It's actually called a hide, and it's still out there. Which means you can't go back to Nevermore, not even to check on your bees. And you have to listen to me this time. I thought Hummers were supposed to stick together. That night in the woods, someone set fire to that cave. Yes. Dr. Kenbot. It's so crazy that it was her. I don't really remember any of it. I just saw someone wearing black and those boots. What about her boots? There was an explosion of light and just for a moment, I thought that they weren't black. They were red. Are you serious? Wednesday. I thought you'd be halfway to New Jersey by now. You can drop the act, Laurel. I should have known it was you. Faking your death, securing a job at Nevermore, unlocking a hide. Typically, I have great admiration for well-executed revenge plots, but yours was a bit extreme, even for my high standards. Oh, dear. Weems was right. 
You do need psychiatry. Watch yourself, Wednesday. Can't... Ugh. That's Thank enough. you. Stop faking it. Tyler, honey, make Mama happy and shut her up. Permanently? He's not on your side. Tyler will do anything for me. Remember what I told you? I showed you who you really are. Nah, bro. Quit caressing his mother. face. The outcast made you a monster. If you only hate outcasts, why is he killing normies as well? They're just pawns in a bigger game. Just like you, Wednesday. Once again, you've underestimated the situation. You were never getting on that train. I sent Tyler to intercept you. I never made it to the station. Heard enough? Weems. <laughs> ah! Your slave is probably still at the station. Working together. Please don't make this more difficult than it already is, Marilyn. My name is <laughs> Dang, really? I knew she I knew she'd get somebody. They tried poisoning. <gasps> A fitting end, don't you think? Rip. Thing. Thank you. I've already had an episode where, where you have gone freaking. Not not rogue. I mean, um, last episode, bro. Like it, it's done enough for me with Thing, bro. I'm not here for him getting hurt anymore. Until you were ready to be sacrificed. Right. This is whack. Sure, we got a situation. Eugene Ottinger's mom just called frantic. Something's going on at Nevermore. Okay, get a couple cars over there ASAP. That's just it, I can't. The tires of all the squad cars have been slashed. Every Whoa. damn one of them. All right, I'm on my way. Yes. Let's get everybody. Round them up. Nice shades. Bro, Enid better turn, bro. Ah. Bro, stop. Why does this old man have to come back? I am of your blood. Uh. I have summoned you to rid the world of outcasts once and for all. My vengeance will be swift and true. As will mine. Me still. You will suffer the same fate you bequeathed me. Now burn in the eternal fires of hell. Where you belong. Bro. Bro! Goody, talk to us. You're here to take me to the other side. Listen, Crackstone must be stabbed through his black heart. It's the only way he will be vanquished now and forever. Oh, so he just has a Is your spectral black heart. vision impaired? I'm dying. Your necklace is a powerful talisman. My mother told me it's for conjuring visions. It is also a conduit for conjuring spirits. It will allow me to pass through you and heal you. Just know, once I do, you will never see me again. The school needs you Wednesday. Hmm. I mean, the moment she shows up, she shows up and helps. So I, I guess.
Yes. We're good. Now we need help because you can't just be doing that by yourself. Laurel said you were dead. I'm feeling much better now. You're like a cockroach. Please, flattery will get you nowhere. This will not end well for you. Uh! To be fair, it does kind of look like Tyler. <laughs> Let her go, you bastard. Oh, yes! 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 Our pink furry best friend. Watch. Watch out. You know, you gotta watch out. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, I say, we needed her to wolf out today. Howdy, Pilgrim. He's about to just waste him. <laughs> How can thy heart still beat? What demon sorcery is this? Stay away from her! Uh oh, you better watch out. Can you stop getting hit? Girl. Really? Oh my god. I'm fine. Go. Get them out of here. Now. Okay. Hmm. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, she's. She's. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, backflip. <sighs> what the heck is going on? I know that don't feel good. Why does he look like? Why does he look like um the monster from Halloween? No, from am I am I thinking right? Halloween Town. It's either that or mostly ghostly. Oh my gosh. You just missed Bianca. That better be his heart. Yes. Come on, Wednesday. a gun to a sword fight it's probably the first smart decision you've made today <laughs> right i might not get to kill all the outcasts but at least i'll get to kill you wednesday <laughs> eugene eugene the bee whisperer let me find out eugene can control bees that's crazy yeah. that's what you get from wrestling oh, with look at him he got the pose Bitch. he got the pose and everything yes Hummer stick together, right? I'll take it from here. Maybe we should call the now. Turn now, waste her. I was thinking more um, graphic, but uh, that's fine. 
Where's Wednesday? Right there. The end. Oh, I was hoping. I was like, is she done? Oh, question mark. <laughs> ah, just like that. Our novel is done. Or the first of many. When I was in the cell, I said a lot of things. Being your friend should come with a warning label, but I don't know a lot of people who would take it for me, so. Welcome to the 21st century, Adams. <laughs> My number's in there already. That's a bold move. That's a bold move. I hope you're not expecting me to call you. No, never. I'd settle for a text, though. You know what a text is, right? Goodbye, Xavier. Hey, are you gonna be back next semester? Yes, no, maybe? I hope so. Uh, season two? My very first How stalker. is her very first text? Maybe this force her very will first be more interesting stalk? than I imagined. What? Oh my gosh. Unlike my novel, not every thread has been tied up, nor every question answered. Secrets are still lurking in the dark corners of Jericho. Why is there a s That's what? Or Laurel, Gates, and Tyler just pawns in a bigger game? Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? Oh. Whoa. I know the suspense is killing you. Uh, I think I know what that means. That means season two, baby. Uh, yeah, season two. Man, this show is so good. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my, uh, I watched through these episodes. I've enjoyed it for sure. Um, I'm happy I watched this. And I'm happy it came at the, the end of this year for sure. Because, like, I haven't watched many um, Netflix shows this year, to be honest. Not, not brand new ones. Like, there's obviously shows that had seasons come out that I've already been watching since day one. But... I really enjoyed this show. Gina Ortega did so good. I enjoyed all the characters. Um, the good ones, the evil ones. Let's just give big shout out to my favorite characters. Uh, well, first we have Wednesday, of course. Uh, Thing. Big Eugene. Enid. Um, and yeah, yeah. Shout out to 
everyone who is in this, the cast, everybody. But yeah, uh, if you want to check out the full length version of my watch, check out my Patreon link in the description. You're going to also find my other ones that I've watched here on my channel. You can watch the videos and uh, follow my socials. And just I hope you guys again enjoyed this and more videos to come. Uh, and yeah, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark.